Sup guys, it's Jacob here. Thank you, first and foremost, for clicking on my video. Secondly, this video is proudly brought to you by Manscaped. Now Manscaped do have a complete range of products on their website, but their most recent product, and the one that I'm using at the moment, is this, the Lawn Mower 4.0. So not only is the packaging impressive, but apparently, it's a whole new balls game. And here it is now, the latest addition to Manscaped's incredible selection of male grooming products. I've been using the products for a good couple of weeks now. I love them. There's no way I'd be making this video if I didn't. Manscaped use ceramic blades with skin safe technology, which means there's absolutely no risk of nicks or cuts. In fact, you could probably do it blindfolded. Not only that, but you can do it in the shower also. It's completely 100% waterproof and it's even got an LED light. So power or no power, you can still get the job done. For those wondering, is it a tool just for the downstairs area? No, no it's not. It's actually good for your entire body, including your face. And for anyone wondering, that's the length. But if that's too short for you, there are four different trimmer guard options, which means four different lengths, which means if you really wanted to, you could probably even draw a picture. It looks good, it's waterproof, it's rechargeable with a 90 minute charge, and it's only one of the incredible selection of products on the manscaped.com website. So head over there, check out www.manscaped.com, use code JACOBD20, that's J-A-C-B-D-2-0, for 20% off your entire order. Join myself, your other favourite YouTubers, and over 2 million men worldwide happily using these products. Once again, head down into the description box below, click the link, check out the entire range of products, use my discount code, happy days. Enjoy the video guys, and peace out. Hey, what's up you guys? How are we? And welcome back to another episode of Rugby Player Reacts. I'm your host, Jacob McDonald, and uh, today it's my absolute pleasure to bring you the first of the bottom third of this entire list of 100 NFL players. It's Quentin Nelson. He comes in at number 33. He's a guard. He plays for the Indianapolis Colts. And um, look, if there's one guy I wouldn't mind hearing from in this particular video, it'd be Jonathan Taylor. Or possibly hearing from one of his opposite men that he has pancake blocked throughout the season because apparently he's pretty good at that and apparently he's pretty good at painting his face too but all of that and more will be revealed i'm going to roll the intro and i'll see you in a minute yeah. now like i said quentin nelson the only thing that comes to mind is the face paint and the pancake block so let's get into this like a like a cartoon when you see him going against some of these guys and he's road grading you just want to make sure you're not on that highlight list <laughs> pretty much consistent imagine killing a 30 with johnny unitas <laughs> Imagine what? Johnny Unitas. Imagine killing a 30 with Johnny Unitas. Imagine killing a 30 with Johnny Unitas. Now what the fuck does that mean? Killing a 30 in NFL. Man gets 30 years in killing of ex-NFL player? No. Pretty sure Johnny Unitas was a quarterback. He was often seen on the 30-yard line on the Ravens' side. Now what does that mean? It's been a while since I've looked up this fella. But I did look him up in the NFL's Top 100 Greatest Players of All Time series. He's a three-time NFL champion. He's a three-time NFL Most Valuable Player. But the piece of information we're looking for... I'll find it. I'm gonna find it. Oh. My. God. <laughs> what? 211 total games. 40,239 yards. A 30-yard completion, possibly. Killing a 30-yard completion with Johnny Unitas. Is that what we're talking about? Sorry guys, this is the kind of thing I, I have to get because it's it's real history. Okay, this is all I've got. This is all I've got. Unitas played his final season for the San Diego Chargers and his 30-yard completion to Mike Garrett against Cincinnati on September the 30th put him over the 40,000-yard mark. Played his final season and his 30-yard completion to Mike Garrett on September the 30th put him over the 40,000-yard mark. Was that his final play. Nope, he had a total of 40,239 yards, but only threw 471 that season in five games. Now, let's go back to this video, just see if that's what he's talking about. Imagine killing a 30 with Johnny Unitas. Ooh. 
<laughs> game recognizes game. And Colts guard Quentin Nelson is crushing his way to becoming a legend like Johnny Depp. When he steps on that field, he's moving anything and anybody out of his way. He's <laughs> a complete beast. Well, Jonathan Taylor's happy about that. He's trying to finish every block. Yeah, he's going to push you right in that end zone. And if he had his way, probably right into the sheds too. He's trying to put you on your back every single play. He's like, he's bringing that, that dog mentality to that offensive line. Just 25 years old. 25! That's the other thing. He's a baby. Nelson is the only lineman in NFL history selected first team all pro in his first three seasons. Where are you going? Nah, this mess with me. He's got great technique. It's that strength he's got along with it, be able to, to tip guys over, put them on their back. You want to see one of the best guards in football? Just check out Quentin Nelson, okay? This guy Damn. is really good. He has got some strength. Quentin Nelson, 25 years of age, is a beast. He's six foot five and 330 pounds, aka 150 kilograms. It's not often we see 150. When I'm thinking 150 kg, I'm thinking. Well, I'm either thinking Bill Kavu Bharti, uh, an old Fijian prop who was officially the heaviest rugby player of all time, but I'm also thinking Larry Allen, who is the equivalent in the world of um, American football. At the end of the day, mate, 150 kegs is 150 kegs, and it's not easy to move, and, and that's exactly what I've just seen. He was a large baby at birth, funny that, 10 pounds, 10 ounces, or almost 5 kilograms. And believe it or not, in his early years, he supplemented his football and strength training with Taekwondo. Now, I'd love to see him doing a roundhouse kick. He performed relatively poorly in the jumping uh, disciplines at the NFL draft, but performed extremely well in the strength-based discipline, the bench press. He got 35 reps. He was selected sixth overall in the 2018 draft and signed to a fully guaranteed four-year $23.88 million contract. He has been playing out that deal, and on April 28th this year, the Colts exercised the fifth-year option on Nelson's contract putting the franchise tag on him. But on August the 3rd, just one month ago, it was revealed that Nelson needed surgery on his left foot, a similar injury that Carson Wentz had suffered, suffered a week prior. Recovery time was projected to be 5 to 12 weeks, but the doctors deemed that the injury was not as serious. So it could be the case that he misses a couple of weeks, but I hope not for the simple fact that he has played in all 48 games that he has had the chance of playing in. He's played every single snap. Has he played every single snap? I'm not sure if he's played every single snap, guys, but he certainly started every single game and had over a thousand snaps. Oh my God. All right, just a quick stat. 1,042 snaps in the 2019 season, allowing zero sacks and committing just three penalties. 1,082 snaps last year, allowing one sack and committing nine penalties. So as we, as we read that stat, especially the penalties, that brings me back to another video, another player we've seen earlier on in this list. And I believe his name was Zach Ertz. Either that or the Kelsey brother. Jason Kelsey. Now let me look that guy up again. Okay, here we go. Yeah, it was Jason Kelsey. It's, <laughs> here's a news story back in 2020. Apparently he committed another penalty, his second of all time. Jason Kelsey had played close to 10,000 career snaps and committed one 15-yard penalty. And when we go back to Quentin Nelson having, you know, just over 20, 2,100 snaps in the last two years, but has committed 10 penalties. So I just thought that was an interesting comparison. Plays with an edge every week. He can run. He's physical. He's tough. Ooh, he's I like that. He's going to demolish you. And I like who's running behind him even better. The line of scrimmage. I think he's got great feet, and he knows how to use his body well. Quentin Nelson, you see, he's on Hayward. Hayward doesn't get pushed five yards downfield very often, Jim. The thing that separates him, he's the best puller in the game. Sorry. Even more impressive. What did he say? Sorry. He's the best puller in the game. Sorry. Even more impressive <laughs> is his sack-saving quick thinking. Nelson pops out. He's able to pick it up and hands-on approach that keeps hands off his quarterback. Quentin Nelson, he's your prototypical mauler at, at guard. When he gets his hands on somebody, they aren't able to get off that block. He does a phenomenal job in the pass game. Really nice block by the left guard, Quentin Nelson. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, uh, that reminds me of a sprawl. 
the middle of the octagon in a UFC heavyweight fight. But unfortunately for Quentin Nelson to actually qualify in the heavyweight division, he'd have to lose about 60 or 70 pounds. And that ain't happening. Hey, this is when the big runs come. We've worn them down. It's coming. Can you imagine if there was no weight limit in the UFC? I just have a lot of confidence when I know, like, hey, this play it cues the lead blocker. Like, this is, this is his play. He's always... Where's he going? Where's he going? He's going to pull all the way across here. The play, I'm going to say, these guys are all sort of going towards the center of the play. And where's Jonathan Taylor? Jonathan Taylor's going to get a handoff coming across the front, following Quentin Nelson. And go. On go. Hmm. Okay. We saw one swing around the outside. We've seen one go through the middle. What's next? Good left side. Offensive line got big time movement. Four against the two a couple of times. And I remember those, the highlight he had on uh, my teammate now, Clowny. I was like, well, I can't let that be me. You know, when we first started this video, all I wanted to hear from was a player on the opposite side of the ball that he, well, I wouldn't say dominated, but blocked. And Cameron Hayward was one of those players. Are we hearing from another one in Miles Garrett? I made sure I stayed up. I didn't make the tackle balls, but I sure as hang gonna be on his highlight film. Nelson's out here destroying. Whoa! <laughs> Way to stay up, and I'll tell you what. I mean, a sprawl reminded me of the UFC, but that certainly does too. He's trying with all his might to get the takedown. All he wants to do is record that takedown, but Miles Garrett ain't giving it to him. Not prepared to be on his highlight tape, but unfortunately you were. <laughs> Getting six yards on power each time. He's been throwing cats around for the past three years, and... You know, I'm glad he's my teammate and I'll have to face him. Tell you what, it'd be nice to know that you're going to get six yards down the field every single snap, wouldn't it? Anyways, guys, that's another video done. In the next one, we are looking at Joey Bosa, defensive end for the Chargers. Last year, I think I was quoted at the beginning of Joey Bosa's video by saying, do I know much about him? No, no, I don't. But this year I do. So guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. If you have enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.